Sometimes we have to etch a small PCB, but what if we don't have necessary reagents at hand? Then we may try substituting traditional substances with those that we have at this very moment. Very often we find copper vitriol at home, which is left from a previous renovation or garden works. We can try using it for etching. You may ask, are you going to etch copper with copper salt? It is strange, but possible. With a little but, we need cooking salt, that is sodium chloride, in any iron object. We shall not tell you about all chemical operations of the process in detail, but we would like to note that numerous complex salts form during the process. When immersed in the solution, the iron objects also undergo a reaction and are used up during etching. But let's better see the procedure in practice and also see what we need for it. We make a solution. It consists of one part of copper vitriol. And two parts of cooking salt. Then we immerse the board with the previously applied pattern and the iron object into the solution. Then we wait for some time. As you see, we got a nice printed circuit board. We have also used quite unusual substances for etching. These were copper vitriol and cooking salt. We'd like to thank Artyom Sadovi for suggesting this interesting idea.